When I was asked by uh, Vanessa from uh, Spring Ripple X uh, to think about what I would work on uh, if I would do XRPL stuff full time, I immediately knew what it was going to be because while developing on the XRPL uh, and, and looking at the entire crypto space in general, actually, I realized that there was a huge component missing uh, for future adoption uh, beyond just speculation or holding crypto. Because uh, if, if you look at how the exchange of value works in real life, so I'm talking retail or even friends and family sending each other or exchanging value, people are not initiating the sending of funds manually. If you go to a store, bricks and mortar or e-commerce, you want their products and they want your payment. So they are asking you to pay for something. You're not sending them payment. And this was actually a, a thing missing from the XRPL space. And actually still today, uh, a lot of uh, blockchain wallets companies don't fully get this right, in my opinion. So we need pool payments. We need someone to be able to ask someone for a payment on Ledger, uh, an on Ledger payment. And this requires a platform, some, some place where developers, e-commerce parties, beneficiaries and end users can meet up. So I realized that, I mean, a better wallet, a nicer wallet uh, would be great. A feature complete XRPL wallet with a nice UI, I mean, that helps. But a wallet app is not enough. It needs a platform behind it. It needs to be a hub where developers, e-commerce, end users can all meet up and interact in a secure way. And also, if you look at development in, in the blockchain space, the hardest part is key management. B besides the entire technology, the cryptography and everything, if you're developing something blockchain related and you want end users to be able to use it, you need key management. This private key is the holy grail of your crypto account your wallet, your assets. If someone obtains it, you lose everything, uh, which means it's super important to get it right. And building very secure software, very good key management, it's the hardest thing you can do in this space as, as a developer. So you don't want all the developers to, be, to, to deal with that and to potentially make mistakes and to potentially compromise end users' funds. And you also don't want to teach users that it's okay to just take your private key and enter it somewhere. Because every time you type it, every time you enter it somewhere, you are entrusting yet another developer, another system, another code base with a secret that com potentially compromises your savings. So all of this combined is what we felt the entire space needed and what became SUM. So to most users, SUM is just this app they get from the App Store and they install on their phone. But there's actually an entire platform behind it. There are a couple of thousand developers building on this platform and users just go to a website, they scan a QR code, they swipe right, oh, they, signed, they signed a transaction, they made a trade, uh, they obtained an asset. But there's an entire ecosystem and, and there's infrastructure behind that making all of that possible while we do the key management, we do the hardest part, we keep your keys safe on your phone. Oh, and we provide support and everything, but um, the, the, what it comes down to is to allow developers to do what they're, what, what, what they're good at. And it's build new stuff, be creative. And we'll do the hard part, the, the key custody, the end user interaction, uh, and, and allowing them to meet up on this platform with end users. So you can use SUM and the XRP Ledger today for payments anywhere, as long as there's someone willing to accept your payment on the XRP Ledger. Uh, and, and there are places in the Netherlands, in, in, in Europe, around the world where people actually uh, do want to receive their payments on the XRP ledger, either as a stable coin or XRP because they uh, want to speculate a little bit. Um, I don't know where these businesses and people are exactly because there's not a directory where you can just find all the businesses willing to accept cryptocurrency or uh, there are some lists. Uh, but it's pretty scattered and it's pretty rare. So you, you get the enthusiasts, you get the hobbyists, you get the early adopters who own a small business or a store who are willing to receive their, uh, their funds on Ledger. I wouldn't know where to go if you want to spend today uh, from some. 
except if I would check my Twitter history, because every now and then, every week, month, someone reaches out with pictures or video material uh, showcasing some for actual payments. I saw a video from, I think it was someone in Thailand who rented a co-working space paying with some, awesome video. Um, a couple of meetups where you could pay for the drinks with, uh, with XRP, of course. I know there are a couple of arts and crafts stores where you can pay with XRP. So I, I know some individual examples, but I wouldn't know where you can find a list of stores actually accepting some, but I mean, anyone can just install the app and decide that you're willing to receive anything on the XRP ledger. I mean, it's, it's good money. It's actual funds in your account. No one can touch unless if you want to touch it, so.